Alien is so back. I'm going to make some alien tattoo flash inspired drawings. So let's get into it. I'm starting off all my sketches on the iPad so I can easily adjust as I go and then I will do it all traditionally. I wanted to do this because it just seems like a lot of fun. Just saw Romulus and that movie slapped. I am a big fan of Alien and this movie was the comeback that it needed. So I wanted to draw some designs based on that. It all started off with the alien face hugger and then I was like, I can draw the xenomorph again. For this particular design of the xenomorph I decided to blend quite a few different versions together and then I also based it on my own little figure that I have which is based off of AVP Requiem. I wanted to do the alien egg and then I kind of worked out everything else around. I had a couple other ideas but I ended up cutting some because I wanted to focus mainly on a few of the bigger images rather than having too many like kind of main focal ideas and then end up having to make them too small to fit on the piece of paper. So that was the route that I went down. So this printed out a lot bigger than I thought it would be, which is fine. It's a good thing, but also more ground to cover. So it's going to take me longer. And I don't know if I have pens big enough to do the thick outlines that I want. We're just going to roll with it. See how it turns out. was a nice bit of foreshadowing earlier wasn't it i have tested all my pens and my thickest pen is not thick enough for the alien but my brush pen is too thick and too unpredictable i think it's just a bit maybe dried out i'm not sure the bristles have come apart and it's not consistent oh it kind of is but it's the ink flow isn't consistent so i'm at a bit of an impasse i can do the smaller designs with the smaller lines that's fine that will fit them fine but for the alien for this style it needs like that bold outline mm. maybe i should have done it smaller This is giving me grief. It's just all the like long curved lines, really. And because this style that I'm going for is very reliant on line work and line work being good, I'm going to restart. Different day, same outfit for continuity. So I did want to actually get this whole piece finished yesterday, but with me wanting to restart because of the arches, it has put me back a little bit on my schedule. That's okay. I'm just going to speed through all of the, the redoing of this sheet so we can get to the fun stuff of the coloring and the shading. But I feel like I've immediately just wanted to backflip on my entire last video where I've talked about perfectionism. Like me restarting is because I want this to be perfect. There is a reason for that and that is because of the purpose of this artwork and why I'm making it. Why am I making it? I want to put it in my portfolio and go and get a tattoo apprenticeship is the plan. That's why it's a flash sheet, that's why it's so inspired by tattoo design in the first place. Yeah, so the most stressful part's done. Yeah, I'm not sure what I actually want to colour with. When I first started I wanted to use markers, um, but maybe I'll use pencil. I'm going to do some tests on the first attempt sheet and we will see. I haven't used pencils in so long. From my tests with the pencil and the markers, it's not really looking how I want it. I can't get the blend from the markers that I'm looking for. And then the pencil is just not vibrant enough. So I'm just going to do black and grey. More of my strong point anyway, so it's a shame that I can't get it to look how I want it to, but at least if I have the black and grey version, it will be done. That's the goal. Finish it.
It is time for the main attraction, the alien. When doing this, because the alien is so dark, I wanted to make sure it didn't just turn into a black blob. As I originally did want to do it in colour, I kind of had to convert the way that I was thinking of doing it into black and grey. Even though in colour the alien still would have been pretty black, um, it would have had the elements around it in colour and lighter colours to make sure there was that definition between the areas. So I had to translate that into leaving flowers at the front like pretty bright and then having most of the darkness just in the alien. But I still had to make sure I included lots of bright areas in the alien so you could see where the light's hitting it and also to define the different areas and make sure there's definition. The bit that I was the most concerned about was the neck area. I added lots of different types of lines and wanted to make sure they were still separate from each other to show that there's like different layers of mechanical pieces and things like that that make up that section of the alien. That is about it. So let's get into the final shots of this piece. Despite all the trouble that this piece gave me, I am quite happy with the outcome. I think it has good contrast, I was a little bit worried in the alien that it would all start to blend together. Yeah, I am quite happy. I'm glad I did go the black and white route. Maybe eventually I'll redo it in colour, but for now I am happy with where it's at. Thank you so much for watching. I have done alien content in the past, and there will be more alien content in the future. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>